Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Great Beer Garage. My name is Matt, and today we are out here with our RK24, and we're using an uh, implement uh, called a pine straw rake. And we're going to use this to rake up some of the heavier uh, brush that's left over after we've been bush hogging. So this is available on Amazon for like $220. This is actually a borrowed unit though. We borrowed it from uh, my wife's cousin. So we're gonna take this thing for a little spin. We're gonna show you guys what it does and how well it works for what we do here. So we're gonna have uh, my wife run it around and show you guys how well it picks up. So let's go ahead and take it for a ride there, babe. So hopefully you'll be able to see here, there's a lot of like, this type of really big brush on the ground. And quite frankly, we're always tripping over it. So we wanted to get something to help alleviate that. And we were originally looking at a uh, landscape rake, but our cousin told us about this and that uh, we should take a look. So he let us borrow it, which was really nice of him. And I'm not sure why she's all the way out there when I want you to see this, but I'll have her swing back through here in a second. And she purposely got that close to try and knock me over, which is very funny. So she'll drag that over to where we're burning and drop that off. And hopefully she'll come around here and she'll grab another load. See if we can go out a little wider here. There we go. You see it does leaves a nice clean path behind it here so you'll see this will start to get nice and clear after a couple runs and she's collecting a lot and it's probably not going to grab everything obviously but a couple good passes and it'll clean it up real nice.
And just for reference, we have already cleaned the driveway through here. So you can see how nice and clean that is. And it kind of runs real nice down. We'll take a turn around here. And you can see how nice it runs down that way. So it does a good job cleaning. Uh, the area that we're in right now just has a lot more brush because we do a lot of, when we do the clearing, we drag all of our brush into this area and then we bush hog it. And of course, then we get left with a lot of the bigger chunks in this spot here. So we wanted to get this kind of cleaned up a little bit and show you guys how well that does work. I think she's having a little too much fun just going in circles. You can see it really picks up a lot, a lot, a lot of debris. And she's been dropping it over there for some reason, but whatever. I guess that's our next set of stuff that's gonna be burned. So it could pan out again. We'll watch her take another run through here. It's pretty much the same stuff, so we just wanted to show you guys a new tool that we have available to us and how well it cleans up. Okay, so you saw how good it cleans up. So I kind of just wanted to show you that this does attach just here on your three point arms here and over here. And then obviously your top link here, the way our tractor is set up, it does have an option for you to adjust your uh, three point arms, which lets you have a higher lift. That was on the advice of our cousin. He told us to do that. He actually has the same exact uh, tractor as this. Um, but he said if you adjust these arms, this rake actually has a higher lift and it lets you dump out your entire load from after you've gone through and raked everything up. So I just wanted to kind of point that out to you. It does have the option for you to flip these three points around and then you can do quick hitch uh, setup on it also. My quick hitch I have actually does not work for this, set, this setup, um, but you can obviously do it if you have a different kind of a three-point uh, quick hitch setup. So we'll go ahead and um, probably end here, guys. So let me just stop the video here and reset, and we'll do our little outro. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking us out here again on Gray Beer Garage. Um, this was a pretty quick video just showing you the usefulness of a pine straw rake. For the type of application we're working on here which is just kind of collecting up uh, the remnants of branches and stuff and other brush that's been ran through a, a brush hog and kind of something maybe you can look at this is available on amazon like we said earlier for about 220 dollars uh, so if you wanted to purchase that you can go out there to amazon search pine straw rake and you'll be able to find that uh, as always guys thanks so much for checking us out here on gray beer garage my name is Matt, and remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. We'll see you here next time.